guys, let's make this boho bob braided wig together. Uh, I'll be trying this for the first time. I noticed this has been trending a lot on Instagram, so I decided to try it. And these are the things that I used. This frontal is actually a 13 by 6 and it's an old one because as you can see, it's been used. And I'll be using one bundle of human hair. This is the deep curly, I believe. And, and my cap. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my block head has already been marked. So, um, what I'm just doing now is to lay my front out flat by sewing it down. And um, you want to make sure that this is lying flat and there are no bumps. So, that's just what I'm going through. And I'll also be going through the front out like so to be sure that everything is flat and there are no bumps because it's very important. How your frontal lays that's going to tell how it's going to lay on your own head and I'm going to be cutting my attachment I'm using color one that is black into five places now um, for this particular style being a bob I'm going to eyeball this hair and or this wig and section it into three places the third place being the frontal so basically the cap area will be divided into two places the first half, which is the bottom half, I'm going to use um, cotton 5 for my uh, attachment. And the first half or the top half, um, I'm going to use a cotton 4. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm showing you guys how I attach the crochet area. I like to create some anchor um, attachments or braiding hair add some anchor braiding hair like you, see, you saw me doing and just basically braid for this style I wanted to stick with just one pack of braiding hair and one bundle of human hair and um, after everything I think I used about one and a half packs of braiding hair because I don't think I managed my braiding hair well. That's why I'm saying for the cap area, for this part where you're going to crochet, you should divide it into two. Use the bottom half, um, use attachment cut into five places for the bottom half. And then when you get to the top half, use attachment cut into four places. Then for the frontal, you're going to cut the attachment into three places. So right now, what I'm just showing you here is how I add my human hair. I forgot to make a clip showing how I prep the human hair. So I'm going to show it further along in the video. So basically, once you add your human hair, you braid two times and pull out. But for me, I'm just a bit extra. Sometimes I actually forget to pull out the, the curls. So I find myself braiding for much longer. But... Just braiding twice and bringing it out is enough. Don't just put it and bring it out because if it's, if you yank on it hard enough, it's going to pull out. So, as I do it, I measure it. For this style, if you want your wig super curly, I think you can go for like um, three to four strands of curls per braid. If you want it medium, you can go for two to three curls per braid and if you want it light you can do um, one to two curls per braid I actually wanted it medium but halfway I realized that my human hair wasn't going to be enough so I had, I had to cut it down to mild which was still okay um, per braid I was adding three if you notice from what I'm doing but the honest truth is that off cam I took out some because by the time I got to the frontal I was running out of human hair to use so I had to take out some and by the time I got here I realized that I had run into a bit of trouble you see this brown plastic thing at the nape of my canvas block head that's where I used to know how I'm, where I'm going to make my knots that's the, the wig being a bob so that's what i'm showing you here and i realized that my curls are a bit too close to that place because don't forget this is a bob and i'm still going to cut off those excess hair yes yeah, so off cam actually i went ahead to loosen those braids and i did just one curl down there so these are things that i realized on my own while doing the wig um at least if you watch this video you don't have to make the same mistakes
always make sure that your curls are way up and th there are some gaps here as well i'm supposed to cover them now but i'm going to do it at the end because like i said earlier on um, i'm running out of human hair uh, bond human hair curls to use so i just want to be sure i have enough for my frontal before i do that part for my frontal i made 12 cornrows actually then as i go on i'm just going to split according to how big i want my parts to be uh, so basically most of what i'm doing here is freestyling yes uh, and while i was freestyling i made some mistakes and i learned from my mistakes this is how i prep my human hair and what I use there is edge control just to make the ends stick more. So it makes it easy for me to separate them without it being all over the place. So um, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to start um, showing you how I braided the frontal area. So it's just basically the same thing I did for the crochet area. The only difference here is the way I started. I'm going to start off as not less. Whereas for the crochet area, I had to create like some, I had to add like some anchor braids with crochet pin. So yes, so basically the same thing. You braid a little and don't forget to tuck as you tuck in the hair from the frontal as you braid. But baby, all I know is that I want you here under the mistletoe. We know that months flew by. Now you're a part of me. You are my only wish under the Christmas tree. All I want is that the year ends like it started. Nothing else matters. It's for this Christmas to be magical for me and you. noticed about adding human hair curls to braids is that you have to make the curl if you want the curls to look really defined and beautiful you have to take like bigger curls i don't know if you guys noticed that the ones i did at the bottom i took like smaller sized um curls so they didn't really come out well like they are coming out now so that's another thing i had to learn on my own and i just thought like i should let you guys know now i'm showing you guys that i marked my mannequin and that's why i know that that brown place is just perfect for me um with that with if i use this brown plastic thing to eyeball where i want to make my barrel knots it's going to come up to about 12 14 inches not up to 14 10 14 inches ish you know yes so this particular one i was using it to test don't uh, don't forget to trim as well i was using it to test but it's a bit too long because the curls are interfering so don't forget i said earlier that i had to take those ones down here i'm showing you how i make my barrel knots i usually go a bit shorter than the desired length i fold backwards and then i wrap clockwise i keep wrapping till i have a little piece left I take um, the one I'm using to measure, I pull down the one I'm working on till I get to my desired length and then holding it tightly, I now wrap firmly um, whatever is left. When I finish, I use um, 
some fire to seal it up because I noticed that when I wasn't doing that they were somewhere be- beginning to unravel so now it's on my head and I'm just like checking things out if you notice I didn't cut so close to those braids to the knots that I made because this is curly hair and once you apply some water it's going to curl up a bit so I'm just doing some finishing touches I went ahead to put it in hot water not the whole hair just the top part yeah and added some hair mousse and this is the final look <laughs> 